So we have two more functions to talk about. Um, the next one is f of z is one over z. And I want to think about what this does geometrically. If we say uh, z is r e to the i theta, then the only value that we're not allowed to plug into this function is zero. And in fact, that's the only value that you won't get out. You can check that. Um, so if you wanted to solve one over z equals w, this has no solution. You, you, if you wanted to solve this for z, this would have no solutions if w is zero. Um, otherwise, everything else will have a solution. And uh, what this is going to do geometrically is you're going to have, um, you're going to take some point here. So let's say you have, uh, here's your z value, x plus i, y. And it's going to be some modulus, some angle. And what it's going to do is it's going to take, so f of r e to the i theta is going to be 1 over r e to the i theta, which is really just uh, 1 over r e to the minus i theta. And so what it's going to do is it's going to change the modulus to be whatever that modulus is. It'll take the reciprocal of it. So if this modulus is 4, then this would be 1 fourth. And it's going to replace the angle theta with minus theta. Okay, so if this is the angle theta, then this will be the angle uh, negative theta. Okay, and so that's what that function is going to do geometrically. Now, if you think about what this means, if you think about... Uh, 1 over r in particular. If r is bigger than 1, then what's going to happen? So in other words, if we pick some point outside the unit circle, uh, so if r is bigger than 1, then it's going to map that to a point inside the unit circle and vice versa. If r is inside the unit circle, if r is less than 1, then 1 over r will be greater than 1, so that point will be outside the unit circle. So it kind of maps the points outside the unit circle to inside the unit circle and vice versa in a one-to-one -one correspondence. And, and of course, the only value that we're not allowed to plug in is this value at the origin zero. So we get to exclude everything there. And so with that in mind, let's look at a nice pretty graph. Um, so this is our, uh, this is what our graph is going to look like. Um, so I think this is the right one. Yeah. And so you can notice that, uh, let's, let's make this a little bit bigger. So this is the function f of z is 1 over z. And so if you notice what's happening is I, I want to zoom in real quick here. And I want to think about the pieces that are close to the origin here. Um, and so if you think about those pieces, uh, that, that again has to do with, so you can see this white circle here is the unit circle. If you have a point that's really far away here, this is going to get mapped to this point over here. Okay, it's going to be minus that angle, and then it'll be brought inside that unit circle. Uh, and likewise, if you have a point, say, uh, if I were to zoom in and look at, say, something like this point over here, that's on that yellow line, it's going to reflect that angle about the horizontal axis. So it's going to put it up here. And then since we're dividing by that small number, we're going to get a large number. Okay, And so that's what that function f of z equals 1 over z uh, is going to look like as our graph. So it's this inversion where you change the angle theta with minus theta, and then you take the modulus and you invert it, the reciprocal of the modulus. The last picture, and I don't have too much more to say about this, is uh, f of z is sine of z. Remember, sine of z you can write as e to the i z minus e to the minus i z over 2i. Uh, and so, over 2i. And so uh, this is going to be the picture. Um, Let's see, make sure I pick out the right one. I think this one. Um, no. These icons are too small for my, for my eyes here. This one. Okay. So this is the function uh, f of z is sine of z. So really not too much more to say here other than, again, just like all the other maps, this one is conformal so that the angles uh, that are 90 degrees in the inputs are also 90 degrees in the outputs. Okay, so that's f of z equals sine of z. I like having these graphical um, interpretations of what we're doing just because I think it's a good, a good reminder of how this all works. Okay, but those are the functions. That's kind of an overview of functions that I wanted to talk about.